Then there's the issue of what happens when kids do return to school and what they're being taught. You've heard a good deal about this so-called critical race theory that has become a very popular teaching theme in schools across the country. Jillian Turner on that and some lawsuits questioning why that should even be going on in the first place. Jillian. Hey, Neil. So parents of students at Thomas Jefferson High School, it's in Fairfax County, Virginia, are telling Fox News that they're suing the school district because this issue, critical race theory, is now being forcefully injected into their students' curriculums. They say the, worth, the issue is worth fighting on behalf of all Americans, but also they say they're really just sick and tired of their kids being inundated with this messaging that they're inherently racist based solely on the color of their skin. Now, leading the charge against Thomas Jefferson High School, where the student population is over 70 percent Asian American, is mom Asra Nomani. Take a listen. Our parents at TJ are immigrant parents who have fled communist China, Romania, India, economic challenges, and they are here because they believe in the American dream. And so our lawsuit is an attempt to fight for the American dream that believes in meritocracy and hard work. Nomani also says it's the students who end up getting caught in the activists' fire and end up suffering academically. Listen. All of this activism across the country is just going to decimate academic excellence in the United States. In Virginia, they are now pondering the elimination of any kind of advanced math or studies in our schools. This is a race to the bottom. Now, Harry Jackson, who's the father of a black student at the school, who's also party to the lawsuit, says the 5 percent of black students that are currently enrolled, quote, see it for what it is, a tacit admission that they don't think black and Hispanic students have what it takes to compete on merit. That's not my message my parents gave me. It's not the message I share with my own children. And it's not a message we should be sending to other children just to salve our consciences. Now, Neil, we're highlighting Thomas Jefferson High School right now, but the Biden administration is facing multiple new lawsuits now claiming that taxpayer funds are being used to push critical race theory in public schools. It is an issue that is lighting up across the country. Neil? Thank you very much for that, Jillian Turner.